Over the last couple of weeks, children from the schools in our RSA family of academies and from other schools in Redditch have been working with local employers on the Opening Doors to Business project. This has given children a fantastic opportunity to go and see what life is like uh, with a wide variety of local employers, the police, theatre, aerospace, different companies showing young people what it is like in the workplace in their company. I think one of the most successful aspects of the project has been the collaboration and the partnership working here in Redditch. Um, as from the RSA Academy's point of view and from the NWEDR, we feel that actually working together has been one of our main strengths here in Redditch to make this project a success. Interest from business was very high. Uh, there was no problem at all in getting, uh, getting people interested in it. Um, and I suspect that when we actually roll it out again over the course of the next 12 months, we will have the same experience. When people think about work experience, they often think about a two-week period uh, where a sixth world former might be going in, spending time with them, perhaps doing the photocopying, making the tea. Um, it's a really intensive thing, both for the employer and the individual, but quite time-consuming. What's fantastic about this project is that from the company's point of view, they're just offering one day, one or two days, and a large number of children can come in and see what happens in that workplace. We have that theatre because uh, it's a great way for us to access students that potentially then could become volunteers or employees in the future. The, um, the, the actual sessions that the youngsters did were really, you know, quite innovative, some of them. Uh, they visited the police uh, and they were, uh, you know, they took a crime call, actually listened to what was going on, solved it, um, and then afterwards somebody came in to talk to them about what they had to do to get into the police, and then they all tried on helmets and truncheons and all that sort of thing. So that went down really quite well. The children have learnt lots from it. The huge variety of roles that go, go on in just one company, the different opportunities that exist, and that can really help prepare them and think about what they might do when they leave school. We think that's really important in the RSA family of academies and we have a commitment that all our schools sign up to that the schools, as well as preparing them for their exams, will prepare them for the world beyond the school gate and help them to see what the opportunities are out there in the, in the real world and get the skills, knowledge, qualifications that they need to succeed. And this project has been a really important part of that. Workplace visits are so important for our students to see outside their four walls. Often they're very blinkered in their own environment so they can't see what else is out there to help them make a decision for their future. One, one or two uh, businesses said to me uh, prior to the visits taking place that they, they were hoping to have older pupils. Um, but in fact, uh, several, of, uh, several of the visits incorporated years seven and eight. And that actually turned out to be a great age group because they were really enthusiastic about the visits. Most of them had never been inside a factory before or a police station or a theatre or whatever, uh, behind the scenes anyway. So they, they, they were absolutely engrossed in it. And, and I think everybody agreed afterwards that it's actually that age group that is one of the best to actually work with. It's also really great for the employers. All too often the image of children and young people can be about uh, youths in trouble, um, but actually the young people in our schools are fantastic. They're enthusiastic, creative, um, inquiring, they want to find out what's going on. And so I think there's been a real benefit to the employers as well as to the, the schools and the young people themselves. I, I've just got such a passion that there's an opportunity for people to translate those basic skills of English and maths into something that's applicable to a work environment like engineering where it's not just about what you can do with your hands, it's much more now about what you can do with your brain. Hearing from employers about the importance of maths and English is such a valuable key part of the project and actually students have gone back to school feeling more motivated and hearing it from somewhere else that maths and English is important in the workplace. If students can see what's happening in the workplace and how it is relevant to the curriculum, I feel that there's definitely some synergy there in terms of attainment so students will go back to school feeling more motivated about what they've seen and actually take more pride in the work that they do at school. 
I definitely, because I've never been to a factory before, I, it's definitely opened my eyes to the aspects of things around what the, what the factory actually does and I'd love to go and see another factory in the process. The model also supports the Gatsby benchmarks. So where schools are struggling to get those four engagements with employers, opening doors is such a good project and so simple yet effective in order to achieve that. There are, there are quite a few challenges and learning points that have come out of opening doors and, uh, and, and these, are, uh, these are all things that we've taken into account in designing the project as it goes forward. Opening doors is such a scalable, simple yet effective model and that can be very cost effective for schools and for businesses. It's a case of opening your doors and allowing young people to come in through those doors and show off your business. With the Open Doors initiative, we've got a platform to enable the schools to, to let children have a, a view into a factory, something that not well, certainly none of the, the children that came in today have been into a factory before. I hope that the connections that have been made over the last couple of weeks will last for the schools, for the young people and the employers for many years to come and really help build, build things in Redditch for the future. The most exciting part was um... I can't really choose because there was like loads. It was a really good experience.